I believe the mayor's vision of public safety isn't just with police. I believe that he wants all those divergent pieces where you deal with health, where you deal with HIV, where you deal with families. It's almost like a concentric ring. We want to put our arms around and cradle that community, cradle that family, cradle that child, and provide a array of services to make sure that it comes out in a very positive end and a positive solution for our families. I think the mayor has uh, led the drive to get community policing uh, fully implemented and I think it was most effective by getting the police department fully staffed to 803 so that we had problem solving officers assigned to the 57 community policing beats. If the citizens are engaged in their NCPC and working with the police, it's possible to have effective community policing today. The mayor's leadership in community engagement has been quite profound in Oakland. One of the specific examples is that he has been able to create a partnership with the Oakland Unified School District that is unprecedented and unparalleled. We have a collaborative relationship that we've never had before, and we feel like initiatives are heard, well received, and acted on. Out of the 18 or more task forces around education issues and youth issues, um, many, many of the recommendations from, from those task forces have been implemented. We have various structures in place where young people can, can just plug in, you know, so no matter what issue they care about the, the most about city life for young people in, in Oakland, there is a space for them at the table. The Mayor's Summit on Youth made me realize that I was valuable to my community and it helped me build a connection with the youth in Oakland. It made me realize where my safe havens were and I felt like I could connect with the different people in my community. Well, the Oakland Partnership is a collaboration of education, labor, business, the government and the community at large to galvanize an effort to stimulate growth and jobs in Oakland. Uh, we started out by doing a uh, report with McKinsey and Company to identify what sectors of our community were growing, what sectors really needed stimul some stimulation, and where we should be paying attention. The ultimate benefit will be a greater level of coordination between what we think are the key stakeholders for Oakland, the public sector, the private sector, philanthropy, uh, and the community. Uh, to work together uh, to ensure that resources can efficiently be um, uh, deployed and that the priorities that residents feel are most important to them are getting addressed. We've enjoyed a great collaboration with the mayor's office to build partnerships that help families grow and prosper. SparkPoint Center, Earn It, Keep It, Save It, Bank on Oakland are great examples of public-private partnerships that United Way and the City of Oakland have built together to create self-sufficiency for Oakland residents. Mayor Dellum's knowledge and experience with the legislative and administrative process allows him to clearly communicate the city's priorities to the federal government. Under Mayor Dellum's leadership, Oakland has been and will remain at the forefront of cities to benefit from the federal funding and programming that we're putting in place to green the economy. This means more jobs, greater opportunities, and stronger communities in Oakland, which is setting the standard for the rest of the nation. When we look at the motto for the nation that was launched uh, with Mayor Dellum's concept, his idea for the nation. And if we're doing that and we're putting people into green employment and green construction, then we have placed the dots on the map earlier than anybody else. So I think that that's very critical. We would like to thank the mayor for his contribution, for being genius and bringing this green idea, green component to the city of Oakland. The role of the mayor as the leader of a community uh, sends a really important message. And when he decided to get tested on the steps of City Hall to show to everyone that getting tested for HIV was very important, that was the shot heard around the world. He was the first mayor, standing mayor, to publicly get tested for HIV. That leadership was what made all the difference. When he got tested, People in Oakland said, wow, if the mayor can do it, I can do it too. And that was really the beginning of the success of Get Screened Oakland. The mayor has recognized that the trucking industry has been in crisis for a long time. We have a public health crisis where one in five kids in West Oakland have asthma. 
And we have an economic crisis where truck drivers at the port can't afford to upgrade their trucks to meet the new environmental standards. We had a disaster just about to happen, um, New Year's Day, and um, the truckers were being pushed into a corner where only half of us received grant funding. Finally, we went to City Hall and Mayor Dellums listened to us and he saw what the problem was. Uh, he knew that we were being mistreated and he went to bat for us. And uh, he averted a strike basically from 1,300 uh, owner operators that were gonna be out of business. He went to the state and the federal government to ask for financial assistance to help this trucking industry make the transition to operating a green fleet. What the mayor did is brought it back to human level and that's how we got our $11 million and there's more money to come from other agencies within the federal government and that's what needs to happen. Our mayor is working for us. Mayor Dillons is the leader of the Oakland Army Base project. He developed and we've been managing this project under the one vision, one team, one project concept. And under that vision, he has brought together the city, the port, the developer partner with the community, the stakeholders, and the customer base working with the electeds to redevelop the Oakland Army Base so it supports the activities of Oakland and the Port of Oakland around trade and industrial uses. I think without the leadership of Mayor Ron Dellums and City Council President Jane Bruner, the A's would have been out the door a long time ago. In March 2009, the mayor and the council president drafted a very strongly worded letter to the Commissioner of Major League Baseball encouraging him to take a look at the situation in Oakland uh, to make sure the A's stay playing baseball in Oakland. Without that letter, there's no question in my mind that the A's would have been long gone. If we do it right and we build a new state-of-the-art baseball-only ballpark on our waterfront, it will leverage hundreds of millions of dollars of private sector investment. I want to thank Mayor Ron Dellums for his strong leadership on behalf of the City of Oakland and his partnership with the State of California. Over the past three years, the Mayor has used the power and prestige of his office to make Oakland a model city. We're very proud of the, the work that the Mayor has done. He's been one of the first big city mayors in the State of California to come forward and really demonstrate uh, what can be done if the city and states are working together in strong partnership. Things are happening in Oakland and they're providing opportunities for residents here to do the kinds of things they always used to do in San Francisco. They can do them right here. So I'm very bullish on what's gonna happen in Oakland going forward. Things are on their way, they're on the move, and there's a sense of hope and possibility. I'm very hopeful that Oakland will be the vibrant place all of us want it to be. The mayor has helped us realize that no, you know, this is our city and it is our responsibility. When he said, I want to make the city a model, he has shown that he can do it. We will be better, stronger as a city, as a family, in the future, and we will have Ron Dellums to say thank you to.